we had a very good um, um, representation from the permanent secretary about how technology can boost commerce, business, um, and generate a livelihood for ordinary Kenyans. Um, the bloggers, citizen journalists who are here were concerned about freedom of expression, the, the line between security and privacy, and how far their, their freedoms go and how they can be patriotic Kenyans online. And you know, the government also engaged in those questions. So um, you know, we've come a long way, we still have some distance to go, but at least everyone is talking to each other. Generally in Kenya we've not had uh, our freedoms being curtailed, but um, these cases that are coming up now, the criminal cases, are the only thing that are worrying us at the moment. And then uh, the fact that, like, like the government, private enterprises are also beginning to start regulating social media, and um, we would like to see that that's done in a proper way. Yes. What came out from the government side is that the government, government is listening in on our conversations. So I would, I would think that uh, the proper thing to do would be for the government to inform us um, to what extent they're listening in and what are they doing with this information. Um, normally, the information is property. So if we're coming to raid my house, they would need a warrant. So uh, do they have a warrant to listen in on my conversations, on my emails, or on things that I'm doing on social media? That's what I like to do. Yeah.